Your, ex Your Excellency the President, Your Excellency the Deputy President, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, it is with profound humility that I stand before you today representing the more than 39 million young people of our country. Your Excellency, it is the former President of the United States, J.F. Kennedy, who said that the future prospects of a nation can be directly measured by the kind of investment that its leadership bestows on the young people. And as I stand here today, I know when the introduction was being done that the head of secretariat of the BBI task force together with the secretariat are actually young people. That uh, it was actually very inconceivable that a young person from the western region, Transoya County for instance, can have the opportunity of standing and addressing such a gathering in Kenya today. <laughs> if that is anything to go by then, the future of Kenya is indeed luminous. Your Excellency, first allow me to join the other speakers in congratulating you and uh, the Right Honorable Prime Minister for the magnanimity introducing the handshake that has given forth to the BBI. One thing that I'm sure of is that when the history of our nation will be written, your names will be written in the golden pages of our art book. <laughs> your Excellency, allow me secondly to appreciate the task force because they went round and they collected the views and aspirations of the young people and I can confidently report to you today that the views, the aspirations and the perspective of the young people are in the document as we speak. In the next year of that document, the task force recognizes the youth as a special segment upon which the foundation of a peaceful, cohesive and prosperous nation will be built on. Secondly, Your Excellency, the youth of our country have been feeling that they have been left out. And we have a common cliche that if you're not on the table, then you're on the menu. And the youth of this country have been on the menu for far too long. <laughs> At this particular moment, when we are launching the BBI report, I'm happy and delighted as any other uh, youth from this country that the report gives us a table on the seat by introducing a youth commission that will ensure our issues are mainstreamed and that we have serious engagement with government and other non state actors. <laughs> Secondly, and, uh, we have a problem and a very great challenge in terms of unemployment and unemployment of the young people. The report faces it in three phases. That one, we have TVETs that are able to train our people with skills and uh, 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 with skills so that they can be able to develop our country. And secondly, we have the Biashara Machinani that is also part and parcel of the document. And thirdly, we have business incubation centers that are going to the world level. With all this together, merged together, you can be rest assured that the young people at Machinani are going to change their prospects and also the prospects of this country. In the language of Machinani, I can tell you, Your Excellency, Vijana wanasema ya kwamba mbogi za mtaa zinaenda kuomoka na BBI. Lastly, Your Excellency, as we celebrate the gains that are going to come with BBI, we should also be wary of the political class. And as the youth of this country, we've experienced the politicians who have mastered the art of conning, conniving, confusing, and taking advantage of our youth and cutting corners with their future. We are here today to give them notice. We've seen some of them who are parading inventions that uh, happened during the 16th century of a one-wheel machine. And we are telling them this morning that the 16th century inventions cannot be used to solve the challenges of the 21st century. Because reggae is back, Your Excellency, because reggae is back, allow me to quote Bob Marley. And he sang and said that you can lie to some people sometimes, you can lie to some people all the time, but you cannot lie to all the people all the time. In conclusion, Your Excellency, Martin Luther King said that all of us, and I paraphrase, that all of us must endeavor to fly. But if we cannot fly, then we run. And if we cannot run, then we walk. And if we cannot walk, then we crawl. The message of the young people today is that they will going to fly with you, that they are going to run with you, that they are going to walk with you. And if circumstances force us, then we are going to crawl with you to ensure that your legacy is secured and delivered, and also that the prospects of the BBI are united. Thank you very much.